Happy Friday, everybody. My name is Stuart Huggins, and I am the student minister here at the Wesley Center in Chattanooga, and I jump over here on Fridays and send you guys off on a safe and healthy weekend. And uh, it's been a weird week. It's been like warm out. It's been like cold in the mornings and warm outside, so maybe it's starting to become like a maybe a habit of the weather getting a little warmer. Anyway, so Today's daily Bible readings for today are Psalm 1, which is what I'm going to be doing because it's the first psalm. Jeremiah 13, 20 through 27, and 1 Peter 1, 17 through uh, chapter 2, verse 1. So again, this is uh, Psalm 1, the, whole, the, the entirety of Psalm 1. Here we go. <clears throat> oh, the joys of those who do not follow the advice of the wicked, or stand around with sinners, or join in with mockers. But they delight in the law of the Lord, meditating on it day and night. They are like trees planted along the river bank, bearing fruit each season. Their leaves never wither, and they prosper in all they do. But not the wicked. They are like worthless chaff, scattered by the wind. They will not be condemned at the time of judgment. Sinners have, will have no place among the godly, for the Lord watches over the path of the godly, but the path of the wicked leads to destruction. So, uh, this uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm a youth minister in the area. I am the youth minister at Trenton United Methodist Church, and we were doing a, um, we, we, we had to shut down for a few weeks because of COVID um, post-resurrection, which is our big annual um, youth assembly all across the area. People go to it. Anyway, um, so I didn't have a chance to really like debrief with my kids from that. And uh, so we did a lesson on new beginnings and uh, cl clean slates is kind of what we talked about. Um, and we talked about, so one of the biggest, you know, um, everybody knows this story, even if you're not a, a Bible scholar or anything like that, the story of um, Noah's Ark and how God flooded the earth and everything. So Noah was exactly what these first three verses are talking about. He was just, he knew what God wanted him to do. He was abiding in his word. He was meditating it. He was, and he, he prospered for it. But what people, you know, what the people who weren't with Noah were making fun of him. They were, you know, calling him all these names, calling him a crazy man. Um, and Noah was self, several hundred years old at this point. So he was a pretty old man just building a gigantic boat. And they didn't know why. And those are the people who were were swept away by the floods. And Noah was just sitting in his big comfy, I'm, I'm not sure comfy, but big ark floating around with a bunch of animals for 40 days and 40 nights. Or however, however I don't know why I said 40, it wasn't 40. Um, for some reason, my brain can't remember how long it was. But anyway, it was a long period of time. So... Um, that just goes perfectly with this verse, at least this uh, psalm is talking about. So those who delight in the Lord and do not follow the advice of the wicked or stand with sinners or join in with mockers, which exactly resonates with what was happening with Noah at the time. But they delight in the law of the Lord. Noah knew what he needed to do. And Noah knew what was going to happen. And knew, Noah knew he couldn't do anything about it. So the only thing he knew what to do was do exactly what God said. And that, he prospered for that. But the people who mocked him, who refused to do the things that he was asking, led to destruction. They were swept away by the flood. So that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you uh, have a great rest of your day and a great day in class. And then have a safe and healthy weekend. And I will see you guys next week. Peace.